Because I get like, look. Are ready to rock, kids? Yes, All right. Thank you. No worries. Ready to rock. Where, where is this going, though? This, I'm in Ireland. Yeah, over oh, in Ireland. Dublin. Right, yeah. Very cool. So uh, the graces are, are, I think, 100% Irish. Rock and roll. I was yeah. going to say at the end, I was going to do the Irish question, so that's good to know. Oh, okay. I was going to say, with ensemble pieces like this, I always think it's great for the actor because, in a way, you know, you're not carrying a movie and you've mm. got a lot of you know, different stories going on, you're not as much work. And if it sucks, the director gets it in the neck. You don't, you don't kind of go down with it. W I don't know if the appeal of it was that sense that this is kind of fun, really, because you, you haven't got a. That maybe the, that maybe it does feel the same. That you haven't got the same pressures of a, of a carrying a movie. No, you're right. I try. I approach every movie from the most cynical standpoint. Well, how can I screw I the director? How can how can I not be blamed I knew for it. this? Yeah. Yeah, and how can we get that. some great directors and, <laughs> and squash them? Right yeah. down with them. Down with hope. But there's got to be that appeal that it's just a, you know it's a big big kind of you know high school of, of stars sort of having you know the big play where they're all going to have their little roles and little stories. So I'm guessing it doesn't feel as as much pressure. That is a bit more fun, like a bit more relaxed. It's true. It's it, it is. It is. I've kind of um, you know I've done movies now where I've been in the ensemble or I've been in a leading role, and uh, you try to get to a point with any movie where you're not focusing on how it's going to be received or even think that there is an audience. You try to just kind of stay in the moment. But in this case, you know, it was a week of work. It was. You know, what the most fun is is that you don't have to be on a diet for three months. It's just it, it just it's a condensed thing. You just you know. Which I personally no, that was my the biggest plus for me. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Well, of course, your Liz has is, is, is got this interesting thing where you've got the face of an angel but the mouth of Courtney Love. So I don't know whether that's something that you were allowed to sort of, Gary just said, you just run with whatever you want or whether they said, well, let's script this so we don't go off too far off the taste beam. There was a script. Right. <laughs> it's, well, especially when you're doing accent work, it's, it's helpful to have a script. So so, um, so I had that going. It was, it was a fun thing. It, it, I've got to say... Those few days in my household were pretty raucous. <laughs> just kind of walking around, my dog kept giving me quizzical looks. <laughs> I know I've got a ridiculous short length of time, so just two quick questions. I, I was going to ask. I know you you're practically Irish now. You've been over so often. Uh, you know. You well, I am. I am mainly Irish in my in my background. There you go. But I think we're going to make you fully Irish now because you've been over, and made movies with us. As far as we're concerned, you're now Irish. You're on our radar. Oh, good. Anything you win is an Irish win from now on. So that's the way we look at it. it. And with the Grace, you were saying the Grace family is a, is a Grace family is Irish. very Irish. Right. And uh, would you have sort of traced it or been back at any time to... I have. I had like a bunch of places I wanted to go in the world. One of them was Australia, and now I've been. And uh, one of them was Ireland, and I haven't. So I just need that free ticket, and I'm there. <laughs> you let me know. How, who's going to send that to me? Exactly. I'll organize something. I'm sure I'll get you somewhere on some festival. Some, I'm sure we can work something I mean, that would be great. Yeah, give me an award. I'll come over. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. Irish Film and Television Awards need as many stars as they can get. Yeah. The very last thing, I've been living here in L.A. just for a month, and I'm going to stay for another month just on my own bath. I thought it'd be interesting to see what the city's like, especially traveling by bus, where you kind of sometimes need to wear gloves, but really, really fascinating place to be. But the one thing I did sort of feel from Hollywood is that I mean, it is a town of want, and there is that sort of, you know, there is a kind of degree of a lot of people are looking for success and hoping for a lot of success. And I don't know, for you guys, you both had a lot of success. I don't know whether there is a level of contentment that comes with that or whether there's always that sort of niggling feeling of, this is my job and, and I have to be a certain amount of success every you know, year, two years, three years to kind of keep within this sort of framework of, of being able to do these movies that I like doing. Um, I think in Los Angeles there's a pressure to define yourself by your success or lack thereof. And I've got to say, if I have any success, it's that I don't think about it anymore. So I don't kind of, I'm not sitting there thinking, well, how do I get more? Or like, oh my God, am I going to lose it? If anything, I'm just... Um, if there's contentment, it's really more for my life than, than for my job, but I'm certainly very grateful. Yeah, it's, uh, that's one of the great things about the movie is it's not, uh, it's a love letter to L.A., but not a Hollywood L.A., which is, I think what you're talking about is the fact it is a one-industry town, and a lot of people are involved with Hollywood, but there are certainly a lot of people that aren't. And, uh, and well, there's, Hollywood does touch this. I guess I work, we, we both work in an agency. Um, it's that's more a, kind that's, of... That's not CAA? Yeah, <laughs> but it, it was shot there. <laughs> I think you feel like uh, uh, what's great about uh, this movie is that, it, that most people, including actors who think about Hollywood a lot, live in the real L.A., and this is kind of a love letter to that. Rock and roll. I'll be giving the friendly finger. Oh, nice to talk to you.